Hello guys, this is Rupesh and you are watching CPP Nerds video series on GDB and this is going to be the fourth video in this series, fourth or maybe fifth, I'm not sure. But the point is, there are many videos before this you should consider because I might be assuming few things that you know this and this and this. So I'll directly jump to the topic. So if you are totally new to this GDB thing, then you should consider watching those prior videos than this. And I'll give you the link in the description field. If I forget, please let me know in the comment section. So today we are going to learn set variable. So if you are that guy who know like how to put the breakpoint and how to see the variable values, then you can go ahead and watch this video. So let me run the GDB. So it's running. I'll put the breakpoint at main. Now it is at main. Now set variable does few things. Let's understand that. So I'll say next. Sorry, program is not running. So I'll have to run this program. Yeah, now it is running. And it is telling that I'm at 12 number line. So this is standing at this line number. And if I will hit next, then it will create A. And if I will hit next, then it will create B. So A and B are now available in your memory. Okay, now let's print them. So we'll use print A. See, this is data one and next is actually null. So this is what it is doing, right? You can pause the video and try to understand this program. It is a very simple program. I'm creating a single node here, assigning one and next is null for A and same creating a node B with value two and its next is also null. And let me print B also. Oh, B is not there. This is strange. If I say locals, it is telling, okay, it has just A, B is never created. I'm not sure why. Let's do next and next and try to print B. Oh, oh yeah, I, oh yes, actually I forgot to compile this by changing this code. Uh, GDB, put the breakpoint at main, we'll run this, next, next, and now if we'll print B, it is printing. Yeah, sorry, actually I modified the program and didn't compile that. Okay, so we are printing A, we are printing B. Let me print A this time, okay. so. These are the current state. Now with this set variable, I can modify, let's say A's data part. I want to make it like five, hit enter. Now it have actually modified A's data, which is actually five now, which was one, now it is five. Let me print A, see, now it is five. Like this, you can modify the program variable. This A is a program variable. It is not a history variable or not a debugger variable. I'll tell you like what is debugger variable. And we have learned in previous video what is history variable. So this dollar three is a history variable. If I'll say print dollar three, it will print this again. Okay. So it creates a history variable. You can use this dollar three to actually point to this particular thing. Not only this, you can say like set variable. I mean, this variable thing is like optional, but Better you should use that because otherwise compiler, I mean GDB may get confused because if the variable what you are going to use is already there with GDB, then it will get confused or it is a global variable of GDB or somehow GDB knows that variable or abbreviations are there in GDB, right? Like short forms of a bigger expression or command or something like that. So better we should use set variable and then, so basically the point is the syntax is like this. It is set variable and then variable name and then we have this expression okay so this is the syntax so we'll say set variable again and this time i'm going to change b's next so b dot next is equal to let's say a and i'll hit enter oh it was supposed to take let's say address but i had directly given a let's see what it is so it is print b okay it is pointing at some junk self i should have given it like this address of a yeah so that was a mistake now if i will say print b yeah now it is actually this address so how to confirm that to confirm that you can say p is b dot next if you will print this you will get this type as node pointer and if you are going to dereference that because that is an that is an address to actually get the value of that you have to dereference it if you will hit this enter you will see five and next is zero so actually if you see your a is now five right see this guy we printed a and it is five 
So actually, this is how you will set the program variables using set variable command. And not only this, don't run away. Not only this, you can use this set variable, let's say set variable, and I would say dollar, this time dollar. And I'll say my variable, my var, okay? And then I'll say maybe, um, what, 10, and hit enter. Now I can print this dollar my var, and it will give you 10. Actually, this dollar thing is a debugger variable, okay? Or a history variable. So if this dollar a dollar seven, these are history variables, and this dollar thing, this my variable is a GDB variable. So basically, if you want to do some mathematics, let's say I said right this, then you can do like ten multiplied by maybe four, and you can go on like maybe multiplied by like two more and then this expressions value will go inside this. See, if I will print this, then see it is now 80. So you can actually temporarily store your data in GDB variables. So if it is starting with the dollar, then it is GDB variable. And if it is not starting with dollar, then it means it is a program variable. So you remember we were not using this dollar ever. So it was actually pointing to the program variable. So this was a normal expression. Actually, you can do this like set variable and you can assign address of A. Let's say we have this address of A and we'll assign this into this. See how beautiful it is. The same variable my var was used to store some integer kind of or integral value. Now it is going to store an address and it won't complain. So this is the beauty of this debugger. It is actually more flexible than C typecasting. It implicitly does all these castings and everything for you. So if I'll print dollar my var, it will give you the address. See, and we just have to typecast, I mean, dereference with this asterisk and it will give you the value. Correct. And now with this my var, you can actually modify the program variable because actually it is holding the address of the program variable, right? These things are really very important when you are debugging which requires so much of modification and application is really very big. It does so many things at different time. Then you may have to actually debug depending on the situations. So this set variable helps a lot or might help you if you need this. So if you need this, then you need this. Otherwise you don't need that. So that's it. And no, okay, wait, uh, I told you, right? This set variable is actually this variable thingy is not uh, necessary. I can say set my variable name and hit enter. So if I would do this, compiler would allow me to do this. Okay. But the point is maybe compiler will get confused with its own variable names because it has its own global variable names. And if you end up using those variables, then it will actually change those global variables of its own. It won't change your variable. So keep that in mind. So better you always use this combination set space variable and then you give this variable name and then the expression. So if you like the video, don't leave without liking this video. It will help me a lot. And you can share this video with your friends and that would be super helpful. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Take care.